Hey everybody, it's Stacy with Misguided Road Trips, and tonight's road trip brings us to a historical Native American burial ground. Patty told me about this, and you can see the mound behind me here. But, um, Patty had filmed here before. She brought me out here. She's not feeling good. She's actually sitting in the truck. Hi, but, everybody. <laughs> She decided to sit this one out, so I'm gonna just film a little bit, see what we might can capture out here. We don't know what kind of Indians are buried here. We tried to find out. We are assuming it's probably Seminoles. Native American burial grounds are supposed to be some of the most, I guess you would say, they have a lot of paranormal activity around them. And with that, we wanted to see if we could get some EVPs and we wanted to see, you know, what we might find. We never know. May not be anything, may be a lot of everything. So we're gonna walk around, we're gonna listen, see if we hear anything. This is the sign that lets us know where it's located. And back here, is the mound. Now I do have my EMF so I'm gonna cut that on and hold it as I walk around. I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to be walking on this mound or not so I'm kind of gonna stay around the edges. Doesn't look like it is a large mound but I don't know how far it actually goes back. But if it goes all the way back to that tree line, it's pretty large Indian mound. Now, like I said earlier, Indian burial grounds, Native American burial grounds are actually protected, highly protected by the Native American spirits, and y'all hear that? Hello, is there anyone out here? hearing voices. I'm not sure where those voices are coming from. Lay my EMF meter right here, and I am going to switch off my overhead light and I'm going to turn my blue light on. If there's anyone with us, you can talk to us or you can walk in front of this blue light and we may be able to see you. Can you show yourself to us? I heard a scream. Why is my light flashing? I 
wonder if you saw that, that my um, blue light's flashing on and off. Now I'm going to do EVPs out here also. Not a whole lot to see as far as anything really. <laughs> Just see what we can find out with the EVP. Hmm. If there's anyone out here who wants to speak to us, you can talk to us through this box. Is there anyone out here with us? I know Patty is not feeling well and she is sitting there waiting in the car very patiently for me and um, I appreciate that she was doing that but I feel bad about her sitting there not feeling good so I might put this with another video that I had done earlier that was a little short so hopefully you like the videos if you do please make sure you like subscribe and do all that youtube stuff and until the next road trip much love bye guys our first stop on our way to the destination that I have not revealed to you 
I'm going, but you will know soon if you don't already probably know by the time this gets out. I'll be tweeted or put something up and y'all will figure it out real quick on where I'm going. This is the first stop. We are at a um, cemetery copy Riverside Memorial Gardens in Jacksonville, Florida. Now, I went to go find my speaker box and realized that I must have not packed it. And I do feel the wind blowing just a little bit, so I hope that doesn't interfere with the recording, but we're probably just going to be listening to disembodied voices on this video. Um, really aggravates me that I forgot. So we are out here looking around. I'm gonna show you some sights. And appears that these are like backed up. Like the way they're buried is the bodies on this, like this is the tombstone. The bodies go this way and then there's bodies here that go that way. So I'm trying not to walk on them. I think they did a walkway to basically um, show you where you can walk. But there are a lot of graves out here. This is a very big cemetery. It is open night and day, but didn't get out here at night because I am on my way somewhere else. Obviously, I've done said that. So I'm repeating myself at this point in time. But um, yeah, I stopped by here on my way through and I am looking for one certain tombstone and I thought that there would be a way to tell where it was. I thought they would have a map, especially for this one individual. Now, I did find some family members of this individual. But I'm not finding him. And it's weird, I've been out here years ago. No, that's why I don't remember. Okay, I can't keep it a secret any longer. If you guys remember <laughs> the Southern Rock band Leonard Skinner. Ronnie Van Zant is my cousin. Now some of you may have already known that. Most of you probably didn't. His grandma and my grandma were sisters so there's a little lengthy cousin there but I will take it. So anyway I was sitting here thinking that I couldn't remember where his grave was, but that's because I was at the old cemetery. Ronnie Vincent was such a big singer back in the day when Leonard Skinner was out. They're still big, and the plane crash was like in 79, I believe, so it just goes to show you how big they were. I mean, people still singing a lot of their songs to this day, but, um, when he passed away, there was a lot of really sick people who would go to his first grave and basically they would bust open his grave and steal his belongings off of him. They didn't know what they were going to do. So they ended up bringing his body to this cemetery and they dug down six feet in the ground, filled it with concrete, each side of the walls, I forget how thick they are, put his casket into the concrete and then filled the hole up with concrete so that people could not break into his grave any longer. And since they have done that, I don't believe there's been any problems. I'm not gonna say nobody has attempted it, but I don't think anybody has actually gotten to do it. Right now, you're looking, this is his brother and sister and 
that is their tombstone. Now the brother just passed away in 2016 and the sister has not passed yet. But I really want to see if I can find his. I've seen a picture of it because a family member did send, show me a picture of his tombstone and it was very decorated. But I am just not finding it. I doubt we can hear anything out here. With all the noise that's going on. There's airplanes flying over. There are traffic going by. I imagine it's coming pretty loud through there. It's a very pretty cemetery. Hold on. There it is, guys. Ronald Wayne Van Zandt. We found it. <clears throat> Jack's Mills had a lot of people come out of it that is um Jacksonville's had a lot of people that have come out of it that have been very famous in the music world. I'm not sure who that is. Wilkson, Leon Russell Wilson, Wilkson. But judging by the tombstone, it might be somebody else that's famous. It's pretty amazing, guys. Ronnie Van Zant. That one was kind of a bust because, I mean, I'm excited that we got to see the graveside of Ronnie Van Zant, and that was awesome. But at the same time, it's so loud and so noisy, and I forgot my box, which was really stupid on my part. I took it out and laid it out on the table so I would remember it, and then I didn't look at the table. 
anyway i'm headed to patty's and um gonna try and help her get packed up some for that new house that she's got going on that is absolutely gorgeous and um i guess i'll see you on the next stop Actually, I'm just going to sit you beside me right here in the seat, and you can buckle up and hold on tight, because here we go again. All right, guys.